Hello, everyone. My name is Dale Weber. I'm the current chairman of Precinct 3, where it all began. And I'm here to present a special town meeting article, number 12, to conduct a traffic study encompassing Precincts 1 through 5. If we can go to the PowerPoint presentation now, that's great. Precinct 3 has, for a number of years, taken calls from residents concerned and stressed about the same things most anyone traveling through our precinct encounters. Next slide, please. We have been slow to react to the fact that despite our precinct and our neighboring precincts being largely built out, we have experienced a steady surge of convergence of single family homes or prior business facilities converted to multi-unit apartments, condominiums, bed and breakfasts, or short-term rental units. Slide number three, please. We cannot reverse this issue, but this article is our attempt to come up with a professional strategy on how to deal with the impacts of this increased residential density and the doubling, tripling, or even quadrupling of the number of vehicles regularly driving down and parking on both sides of our narrow streets and on our sidewalks. Slide four, please. This has made it much harder for vehicles of residents and non-residents alike to travel safely upon many of our streets throughout the district and has impeded pedestrian traffic on some of our sidewalks. Slide five, please. These concerns have led to an assortment of small scale initiatives by individuals or groups of individuals via calls to their precinct or their elected officials to address issues on their street or in their neighborhood. Those efforts looked at a small section of the larger problem and most still remain unresolved today. Next slide, please. In conjunction with and with the consensus from meetings with the Downtown Steering Committee, Precincts 1, 2, and 4 and 5, Precinct 3 has submitted the article to begin the process of compiling all of the issues and address the bigger picture as outlined in the Town Council approved language of our article. Next slide, please. The goal is to have engineering professionals undertake a comprehensive study to address changes in a manner that will not fix an issue in one neighborhood by creating a new issue in an adjacent neighborhood. The professional engineers that review this problem will bring impartial eyes upon these issues and provide some practical solutions that could be employed to improve the situation. Next slide, please. When their work is complete, the residents of the area will be invited to opine on the results of those findings prior to any changes being implemented. Next slide, please. Since residents of all our precincts in the town of Plymouth, with thousands of tourists, continue to make their way in and around the area of study in our article, we look forward to town-wide support of this initiative addressing the safe and efficient movement of pedestrian and vehicular travel in our district as outlined in the next slide, please. So this shows uh, a locus map of the area. I understand it's uh, difficult to read in this uh, format, but suffice it to say it's a large area and that is reflected in the price on the prior slide on page nine, if we could just go back to that uh, page nine, there it is right there. So it's important to note that the cost of this uh, article is $165,878. If this is approved, the funding will come out of the town's free cash account. And it's important to note here that the free cash account is a revenue source resulting from remaining funds after having met the previous year's financial obligations as outlined and certified by the Mass Department of Revenue. So there is no new taxation on this, and that's what the benefit of this article will be. The comprehensive work involved in this will take approximately nine months. And finally, uh, and in, in conclusion to this uh, presentation, I just want to state that if this is approved, which we hope it will be, uh, we will actively look towards funding through many uh, grants 
and associated programs that are available to us in the time that it takes to complete the study and in the time going forward to make actual recommendations. So I thank you for your time uh, this today on this presentation and I thank PAC TV for their assistance. Thank you very much.